about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below, turn on your post notifications on. That way you get notified every time we post a new video. So today guys, um, the kids are actually all with my mom. My mom is babysitting them for the day. We are actually heading out right now to LA. I do have a boob consultation. So for many of you guys that don't know, but many of you guys do know that I do have my boobs done. I got them done um, right after I graduated from high school. I graduated back in 2008, so I've already had my boobs for a little over a decade now. So a little over 10 years. And had three kids. Yeah, three kids. They're still holding up pretty well, but I think it's time that I renew my boobs. Um, they recommend to renew them about like 10 years or so. So um, I'm headed to my consultation. Um, my mom's been like stressing me like to go and renew my boob. She's like, you need to go renew it before they pop. <laughs> so she's been like stressing me to go renew it. So that's what I will be doing today. I'm not going to be going into details right now about um, the doctor and all that yet. Just because um, I don't have all the information yet. So I will get to all that towards the end of the video. So you guys stay tuned. But we are going to be taking advantage today since my mom does have the kids. We are going to be doing some retail therapy and maybe go out to dinner. Huh? So for right now, we are going to be headed on the road. So we'll catch you guys in a little bit. We had a stop by Starbucks for the go. Got me my pink drink and then Bo the lemonade. got a sweetened lemonade. Taste it, babe. I never taste it. Is it good? Yeah, you won't like it. It's too sour? Yeah, I wouldn't like it. One thing about me, guys, is that I love sweet, just not too, too sweet, but I cannot do sour. Like, I feel like sour makes my saliva thick, and I, I hate sour. that. Sour food, sour candy, sour juice. You're just a sour person. At least I'm not salty. I'm the sweet, you're sour. At least I'm not salty. You guys, I am so freaking nervous, and I haven't even got through my food yet. What are you scared for? I don't know, I just it's just boobies. It's just like thinking about going through surgery. I don't know if I'm the only person, but like I get so terrified of like surgery just because if I undergo anesthesia, like that's like me basically like not waking up, you know? Like that's always my fear, like not waking up. Yeah, all right, huh, guys? So I should be high. Right. It's just boobies. You're doing what? Osmer? 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 You guys, this is seriously a girl's hardest decision. Y'all thought picking out nail, nail colors was hard? Picking out boobies is hard. Hey guys, so we just got out of consultation like a little bit ago. Um, it went well, um, I'm excited, but guys, I am so confused on um, sizing I want to do. Um, as doctor said that I'm probably gonna change my mind like 10 times before, before my actual surgery date. Um, as far as my surgery day, I need to just figure that out. Hopefully I could do it by like the end of November or December. Yeah. But I kind of got to work out a schedule with my mom because she's going to have to take on the kids while I go undergo surgery. That way both could be right there with me. Um, so I'll get into more details later on about that. Um, but right now we're about to go do some shopping at Rodeo Drive. This is my first time here, guys. Well, this is our first time here. Yeah, I've never been here. Okay, guys, so I'm sure we're gonna see all kind of cars, like some Ferraris, some Lamborghinis. Hopefully. Kevin right now, he loves exotic cars. I love cars that go boom, boom. I like fast cars. Dang. 
Why so fast? So we are on Rodeo Drive. It's pretty bougie. <laughs> I was like, I think it's too bougie for us. I think we're not bougie enough. It's too bougie. Bad and bougie. I just want to see some cars. There's a Rolls Royce right there. Ooh. Look at another Rolls Royce. Why is everything sold out here? Yeah, I know everything we wanted was sold out, so we didn't get not a, not a damn thing. Man, it was a waste of time coming here. There's no hype about this place. So now we gotta go to the Beverly, what is it, Beverly Hills? Beverly, Hill? Beverly Center. The Beverly Center. So we will catch you guys there. And we gotta get some food. Yeah, I'm starving. You know it's a lot of vlog with them real estate hungry. My bad player. So you guys, we came to, what is it, the Beverly Hills Center? Yes, the Beverly Center. The Beverly Center. Come eat. We still haven't ate, guys. Still haven't ate. And it is 420. This is very my second time here, but I told Bo, I was like, I gotta bring you here. Like, it's so cute in this damn mall. Yeah, I guess the, the mall's on the 6th, 7th, and 8th floor. So let's go see. Let's go see what it's about. You guys, so we just seen Betty Pop at Balenciaga store. Literally, oh, literally like we're walking out. Nah, he walked in before we walked out, but I'm I was like. Sad. I'm sad because like we should have like went up to him and been like, hey Betty, like let's take a picture or you know, come say hi to our channel. Yeah, I was like, man, we should have went up to him and be like, hey, we do YouTube. Do you say what's up to our YouTube channel? But I'm so, sad. I didn't want to bother him because he was like already like asking yeah, for shoe sad. sizes and stuff. And in the store, you're not allowed to vlog or take any type of pictures. So I was kind of like, ah, why even ask? I don't want him to be like, hey, step outside the store so we can take a picture. You know what I mean? But like, is this how you guys get get with us? Like, you guys don't want to bother us? Like, when you guys see us in public or something? And that's why I was kind of like, I'm pretty sure that's how like our subscribers feel like when they see us. Like, but I'm sad and I wish like we would have, you know, when Yeah, when are we going to see Fetty Wap again? What are the chances, guys? Like, we were literally paying and he's, like, we turn around and he's there. Yeah, I was like, babe, look, it's Fetty Wap. And what's crazy is he was, he was just with a friend. Like, he wasn't with a bodyguard. He wasn't with, like, yeah, nobody else. Yeah, there was, was nobody, like, and tripping. Friend. Like, nobody following him. It was literally just him and a friend. I'm, like, low-key sad. Yeah. I'm low-key sad. And then we also, like, kind of walked back. Yeah, I was like, like, if we'll let me catch see. him outside. I was but... like, we'll see if he comes outside. But he was asking for shoes again. Yeah. So I was like, I'm not going to sit out here and wait. You know what I mean? So we're still trying to find something to eat, guys. We still haven't found anything to eat. Yeah. Let me ask right here. You guys, literally, what kind of BS is this? The freaking food court was under renovation. <laughs> so we haven't even ate. So we still haven't ate, guys. I'm officially getting a freaking headache because I'm so hungry. So we need to find some drive throughs That way I could just give me a little burger to kind of like put something in my stomach because I'm starving. It has been a long day, guys. I feel like we've been walking like so much. This is our workout, guys. Workout of the day. Oh, you know what? I probably have on my steps. I don't even look that many. Go, babe. But we'll catch you guys right now. Right in. Came back to Bakersfield to come eat at the Korean BBQ place. So long, guys. I was so hungry that I was like, I want to just eat like a fat kid loves cake. But um, after we eat, we're gonna go, go um, to my mom's to go pick up the food. I already missed them. I know. I'm pretty sure they're just running around all wild. Yeah, driving my mom nuts. Drinking a bunch of milk. <laughs> like I'm not supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, but you guys are about to see us grow. We're gonna hit you guys with Lil Montage. <laughs> So 
I kind of did want to give you guys like a whole run through of how my consultation went and um, kind of give you a little bit more information about it. I did get my first breast augmentation about a little, a little over 10 years ago. So I'm kind of going to renew my, my implants. So um, a lot of you guys always ask me like, what's the pain? What's this? What's that? And I wish I could tell you guys, but I honestly don't remember because it's been so long. So I'm kind of happy that I'm able to actually vlog my journey for you guys and that way like at the end of the process I can go ahead and do a Q&A for you guys and kind of give you guys more in detail of my pain, how I felt, like the whole shebang, you know, because it has been so long so I can't really tell you guys from my first experience. Yeah, a lot of people ask all the time. Yeah, I'm glad that I'm actually going to be able to share this with you guys this time around. When I got my, um, my breast augmentation done the very first time, um, I didn't go too big too fast only because if you go too big too fast then other things tend to happen like the rippling sometimes um the you end up with like a uniboob like certain things like that so from the a cut though yeah because i had no boob i had no breast tissue like i was literally like flat chested like a, like a boy <laughs> i was literally like a freaking boy guys so i went um my first time around i went 350 cc's but basically I went 400 cc's because when you go under the muscle it knocks off 50 cc so I'm at a 400 cc implant and I went with saline and technically I'm a 350 because the muscle knocks off the 50 muscle cc's. Knocks off 50 cc's yeah so this time around I do want to go a little bit bigger I want it to be to the point where I never have to wear a padded bra because there you guys sometimes like you right now like my boobs are holding up nicely because I do have a sport bra on but after three kids yeah after three kids my boobs did kind of sag a little bit it's not as perky as it was when i first got them done but um, i mean that's after three kids yeah three kids and then also like 10 years later you know so a lot does happen gravity does take its toll <laughs> the very first time i went to my consultation um with my first breast augmentation i tried on implants that were 550 cc's and I put them with the sport, you know, they, they let me try it on. So I put them inside like a sport bra and I freaking loved it, guys. But realistically, my skin would not have been able to stretch that fast without like getting stretch marks or whatever the case may be. So realistically, I did start off small and it's recommended to start off small because then like... You have room always, to go bigger. Yes, you have room to go bigger when you renew them. It's easier to go smaller and then go bigger than to go too big and you then go, go small. Yeah, you're not gonna do yeah. it. Your skin's so gonna be stretched out. Yeah, you're gonna basically have to have like like cut some skin down there to go smaller. So I am aiming for going 550 cc's. I'm debating if I should go to 600 because the muscle does knock off 50 cc's. I don't know, guys. This has been like my hardest decision because. I don't want to go, I want to be able to go the size that I really want to, but yeah, it's but so freaking wanna, complicated. I can tell you, you don't want to go too big. And yeah, I don't want to go too big and then be unhappy, but I want to be to where like I'm wearing my pink bra that's super padded and my boobs look up nice and perfect like that. And right now I still have to wear like a, like a, what is it called? A strapless bra and they're super padded. I still have to wear bras that are super padded. So I want to be to the point where I do not wear no padded bras whatsoever. That right now is my hardest decision, but the doctor did tell me that I will be changing my size about 10 times before I go to actual surgery. So my surgery day, I am actually aiming for the end of November sometime. Um, I will give you more details on that on another video, but I am going to be sticking with saline once again only because saline gives you the more perky the more fake looking i like the way fake looks you know i like them perky i like them sitting up i like them really firm like um whereas silicone it's more of the natural it replicate it replicates a natural boob if you feel a saline boob it's more like hard it's more on the harder side <laughs> But I want that, Star that boobies. for, yeah, per preference. I, I like the look of fake boobs. I like the look of, um, yeah, I like boobies too. not, uh, not too natural. Like, I, I mean, if I'm going to be paying for, um, fake boobs, then I want them to look fake. <laughs> and then I'm going to go into price. So basically what I'm going to be paying is around $4,800. 
and that's only because i do have implants now so that's going to be the they cost charge of they charge you to remove yeah the old removing implants. the old implants and getting new ones put in so um, it might be cheaper if somebody else goes yeah with so movies. it doesn't hurt to go make a consultation the consultations are free so i would definitely definitely recommend that they do have an office in pasadena and then they have one at huntington beach but don't go off the price that they gave me because in my scenario it's a little different but that cost does um cost for like the surgery the anesthesia so it's like roughly like five grand anywhere yeah. between like four to five grand as far as that right now that's kind of like all the information i have um when i do actually start doing like my pre-op and all that i will go ahead and make a new video of like me and my surgery day and all that good stuff um let me know down below like what questions you guys might have that way i can try my best to answer them if i didn't answer them today but that's basically all the information i have right now also a little disclaimer i am not making this video um to promote you to go and get surgery done um this is my decision i'm doing this because i solely want to and i'm making this video because a lot of you guys do always ask me about my yeah. breast augmentation done right now and I wish I could answer those questions for you, but I really don't know like my pain and all that good stuff because it's been so long. So I'm making this video solely to kind of educate so you guys on journey. my experience. And yes, I will be vlogging my journey. And then at the end of like my whole surgery and recovery, I will be answering more in-depth questions that you guys may have. But for now, this is it guys. And if you guys do want to get in touch with the doctor, I will be leaving his information down below in the description. His consultations are totally free guys. So he's pretty amazing. He's super cool. Like when we met him, he's... He's super cool. If you guys do want to go to him, he's pretty amazing. Um, I've been seeing some comments of when I posted my IG story um, that a lot of you guys are actually going to him and that your experience with him has been pretty good. So that gets me even more excited. But yeah, guys, I'm excited to share my journey with you guys this time around. And I hope that you guys did enjoy this video and found this very informative for now since this is barely like the start so make sure to follow us on all social medias it is also listed down below in the description don't forget to shop our us always merch um we are almost sold out of the white us always pop socket so make sure to get yours before it's sold out we hope you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to comment share like and subscribe and before we do completely end this video our post notification shout out goes to it goes to our winner. We did a giveaway for our 100K and it goes to Bianca Rosa. Shout out to you, girl. And if you guys do want a future post notification shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to our channel, turn your post notification on, hit the little bell, bing, and comment show us some love. Yes, we love you guys and we'll see you guys in our next video. Peace, deuces.